can antidepressants really ruin your sex life? It's a question you've wanted to know more about, but have been too afraid to ask. Well, in this video, I've got you covered. In order to fully understand how antidepressants can affect your sex life, we first need to zoom out real quick, okay? And look at sexual dysfunction as a whole. There are two big things I need you to take into consideration. And the first is that sexual dysfunction is one of those topics that can be pretty tricky to study because there are so many different variables and causes to take into consideration, right? Medical or physical causes of sexual dysfunction can include obesity, diabetes, or heart disease. Psychological causes can be anxiety, depression, marital and relationship struggles, or effects from past traumas. And then other offenders could include drugs, alcohol, or medications that are being prescribed to you. And the list goes on and on. But when it comes down to it, we know that sexual dysfunction is common in the general population. And it's estimated that over a third of men and women experience it. The second thing I need you to know about are the basic characteristics of those who are depressed. Research has suggested that people with depression are more likely to be obese, have diabetes, and have cardiovascular disease than those in the general population. So if we remove the factor of depression itself, these three variables alone would put you at higher risk for sexual dysfunction. Okay, now that we have these two major points established, let's talk more about depression and antidepressants. It's been shown that both depression and many of the medications used to treat depression can cause sexual dysfunction. So let's break this down further and first look at how depression itself affects sexual functioning, okay? So there was an interesting study that was published by the Journal of Affect Disorders, and in it, they looked at 134 patients with depression and evaluated their changes in sexual interests, sexual functioning, and sexual activity before going on antidepressants. And what they found was that over 40% of men and 50% of women reported decreased sexual interests. In addition, 15 to 20% of people described having difficulties with orgasm or ejaculation. And then on top of that, the likelihood of symptoms popping up are increased if you have a more severe form of depression. Basically, what this is saying is that untreated depression will likely affect your sex life in some way, shape, or form. So now, what about the antidepressants themselves? What can you expect with treatment? When SSRIs were first launched and hit the market, the initial drug labels stated that less than 5% of patients in the clinical trials reported sexual dysfunction. Over time, research has suggested that pretty much all SSRIs, SNRIs, TCAs, and MAOIs carry some sort of risk of causing sexual side effects. And it's estimated that somewhere between 30 to 60% of people will experience this. Keep in mind though, that these studies have shown rates as low as 10%, and then also rates as high as 80%. So there's quite a big range that we're dealing with, and more research definitely needs to be done on this topic. Now, what kind of sexual side effects are we talking about here? Patients have described experiencing decreased sexual desire, decreased sexual excitement, diminished or delayed orgasm, erection problems, and difficulties with ejaculation. And why does this happen, you might wonder? Remember, there are many different neurotransmitters involved in sexual desire and sexual functioning, and antidepressants have been shown to 1. Increase serotonin transmission, 2. Cause hormonal changes such as elevated prolactin levels, 3. Cause sedation, 4. Block nitric oxide, 5. Reduce acetylcholine levels, and 6. Block noradrenergic receptors. All of these things individually, and especially when taken in combination, can result in sexual dysfunction. So what's the verdict? Can antidepressants ruin your sex life? And the answer is maybe. Some patients will experience sexual side effects when taking antidepressants, and others will experience improvement in their sexual functioning as depressive symptoms become better controlled. So the way I help monitor and tease this out with my patients is by having them fill out sexual functioning scales throughout their course of treatment. One of my favorites is the Arizona Sexual Experience Scale, and I provided a link to it in the description below so that you can use it with your doctor. And this scale has a score range between 5 to 30, with higher scores indicating more sexual dysfunction. It looks at things such as sex drive, arousal, vaginal lubrication, penile erection, ability to reach orgasm, and satisfaction from orgasm. So ideally, it's best to have you do this while you're off your medication and symptom-free from depression, anxiety, or whatever else you might be struggling with, so that we have an idea of what your baseline sexual functioning looks like. However, this isn't always possible, so at a minimum, I will have patients fill this out prior to starting their medication, then I'll have them fill it out again a couple weeks later after initiating treatment, and then again and again after any dose changes we might make. 
Now, if you're looking for more information on antidepressants and the potential of them causing sexual dysfunction, check out the link below so that you can download my free PDF. The next big question to answer is, which antidepressants cause the least amount of sexual side effects? And more importantly, which ones are the worst offenders? Click that top video to find out.